Hi class, today our topic of discussion is simultaneous linear equation. Now look at this, ax plus b equals to 0. This we have already done in previous classes. This is linear equation in one variable, x is a variable, over here a, b belongs to real number and a not equal to 0. Then this type of equation is known as linear equation in one variable. Now take another case, suppose I write ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Now look carefully over here, there are two unknowns, two variables. So this is general linear equation in two variables, isn't it? And over here also a, b, c belongs to real number and a not equal to 0, b not equal to 0. For example, if you take a case like uh, suppose x plus y minus 3 equals to 0. So this is your general linear equation in two variable x and y. Over here, if you look carefully, if I take x as 2 and y as 1, it satisfies the above equation. Similarly, if I take x as 1 and y as 2, Again, it satisfies the equation. If I take suppose x as 4 and y as minus 1, then also satisfies, which means it will have unlimited, unlimited number of solution. Isn't it? Now consider two general linear equation in two variables. What I mean to say, suppose a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0. Now this is known as this system of simultaneous, simultaneous linear equation. Am I correct or not? Okay. This form of equation two unknown variables are given and two equations are given, they form your simultaneous linear equation. Suppose I take an example, suppose x plus y minus 3 equals to 0 and 2x minus 5y plus 1 equals to 0. So this is your simultaneous linear equation. Okay, this two equations forms your simultaneous linear equation in the variable x and y. Now look carefully the x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 is the solution for both the equation. If I put x first equation, look over here. x place, I'll put 2 and y place, I'll put 1. So this is 0. It satisfies the first equation. Now I will put this in the second equation. 2 times x, 2 to the 4 minus 5 times y, which is 5 plus 1. So this is also 0, which means this x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 satisfies both the equation, which means this is the solution for this pair of simultaneous linear equation. And if these two have only one solution, only one possible solution which satisfies both the equation, then that pair of linear equation in two variables is known to be consistent, consistent plus independent, independent. Is it clear? Now we look at how to solve a given system of simultaneous linear equation. Simultaneous linear equation can be solved by three methods, substitution method, which we will discuss in this video, elimination method and cross multiplication method, which we will discuss later. Now, when we will come to substitution method, there are three steps generally we follow. The first step, take one of the equation and either make x or y the subject. Solve one of the given equation for one of the variable. Is it clear? Then, take that value of that variable and substitute in other equation. And when you do so, you will see that the second equation 
becomes a linear equation in one variable which can be solved easily and once that variable is solved put the value of that variable in any of the equation and solve okay I'll, I'll show you an example okay and it will be clear suppose I'll take a sum from exercise 5.1 sum number 2 part 1 which says a plus 3b is equal to 5 and 7a minus 8b equals to 6 this is your first equation and this is your second equation and what I'll do I'll choose one of the equation and make either a or b the subject I'll choose the first equation look carefully a plus 3b equals to 5 so can I write a equals to 5 minus 3b see I've made a the subject now I'll substitute this value in the other equation substituting the value of a in equation 2 what do you get see 7 instead of a can I write 5 minus 3b minus 8b equals to 6 okay uh, this is a linear equation in one variable which we can solve so this is 35 minus 21b minus 8b equals to 6 which means minus 29b equals to 6 minus 35 is minus 29 again so b will be 1 look carefully we got the value of b now put this value in any of the equation putting putting the value of b in equation 1 suppose so we get a plus 3 times b is equal to 5 which means a will be 5 and this goes over there 3 so a equals to 2 and b equals to 1 is the given solution clear now we look at few more sums on this method now look at sum number 3 part 2 solve these pairs of simultaneous linear equation 2x minus 3y by 4 equals to 3 that's my first equation 5x minus 2y minus 7 equals to 0 that's my second equation what I'll do I'll take the second equation okay 5x minus 2 minus 7 equals to 0 and I'll make x the subject you can take any equation and either make x or y the subject so can I write 5x is equal to 2y plus 7 which means x equals to 2y plus 7 by 5 done now what I'll do in the second step what I do I'll put this value in equation 1 putting the value of x in equation 1 what do we get see 2 2y plus 7 by 5 minus 3y by 4 equals to 3 that's a linear equation in one variable we can solve this easily you know this is 4y plus 14 by 5 minus 3y by 4 is equal to 3 which means can I write this is 4 times so 16y and this is 56 this is 5 times this is 15y equals to 3 clear so this will be 16y minus 15y y plus 56 and 23 is a 60 so your y is what 60 minus 56 so y is 4 you got the value of y now put this value in any of the equation putting the value of y in equation 2 that will be easier 5x minus twice y that is 4 okay 2 times y that is 4 minus 7 equals to 0 which means 5x minus 8 minus 7 equals to 0 which means 5x this is minus 15 goes over there becomes plus 15 which means x is 15 by 5 that is x is 3 so x equals to 3 and y equals to 4 is the required solution for the simultaneous linear equation okay now we look at the next sum now look at sum number 4 part 1 mx minus ny equals to m square plus n square that's the first equation and x plus y equals to 2m that's the second equation first step I'll take the second equation and make 
x the subject so x equals to 2m minus y now what i'll do i'll put this value in first equation substituting the value of x in equation 1 what do you get m instead of x can i write 2m minus y minus n y equals to m square plus n square now look carefully this opens the bracket 2m square minus m y minus n y equals to m square plus n square which means minus m y minus n y equals to m square plus n square minus 2m square or your minus y taken common suppose so m plus n is left over here and this is what this is n square minus m square now this will be minus y m plus n and this is n minus m and m plus n isn't it which means can i write minus y equals to n minus m n plus m by m plus n now these two terms cancels out which means minus y is n minus m which means y will be what the sign changes over here if the minus sign goes over there m minus n done now what we'll do the last step put the value in any of the equation i'll choose this equation putting the value of y in equation 2 you can take any equation but 2 will be convenient for us so x plus instead of y can i write m minus n equals to 2m which means x equals to 2m minus m plus n which means x equals to m plus n so your x is m plus n and your y is m minus n and this is the required solution done now we look at one more sum now look at the last sum for this exercise 5.1 they have given solve the simultaneous equation 3x minus y equals to 5 4x minus 3y equals to minus 1 and find p if y equals to px minus 3 forget this first we need to solve this and find the value of x and y so 3x minus y equals to 5 is your first equation and 4x minus 3y equals to minus 1 is your second equation look carefully if i take the first equation okay then 3x minus 5 equals to y so your y is what 3x minus 5 i made y the subject now i put the value of y in the other equation putting putting the value of y in equation 2 in equation 2 what do we get see 4x minus 3 y means 3x minus 5 is equal to minus 1 now let us solve this so 4x minus 9x plus 15 equals to minus 1 which means minus 5x equals to this goes over there minus this becomes uh, how much uh, this becomes 16 isn't it so x will be what 16 by 5 am i clear now putting the value now putting the value of x in equation 1 suppose i take okay so that's 3 times 16 by 5 minus y equals to 5 which means this is 48 by 5 minus y equals to 5 which means 48 by 5 minus 5 equals to y which means 5 48 minus 25 equals to y which means your y will be what 23 by 5 so you got x as 16 by 5 and y as 23 by 5 now let us find p how use this equation c y equals to px minus 3 what i'll do i'll put the value of y and x over here so 23 by 5 equals to p 16 by 5 you know 16 by 5 minus 3 so 23 by 5 plus 3 equals to 16 p by 5 now solve this this is 23 plus this is 15 equals to 16 p by 5 which means this is 38 by 5 equals to 16 p by 5 
which means 38 multiplied by 5 by 5 into 16 equals to p 5 goes up and 16 comes down am i clear now let's solve this so this is uh, 2 8 times 2 19 times so your p is what 19 by 8 your x is 16 by 5 your y is 23 by 5 and using these two values i got p as 19 by 8 we'll look at the other ways how to solve simultaneous linear equation in the other videos okay